Hey guys, it's your boy Pugcore. Welcome back to a brand new video, and I hope each and one of you guys is doing fine on this. What is today? <laughs> July 6th. Um, not sure what time it is for you guys, but I just got back from the beach. I'm exhausted, but I wanted to drop a video today. Hopefully, this gets out today. And yeah, today we're going to be checking out some hidden figures. Borderline featuring Ryan Kirby of Fit for a King. Um, this was actually a request by one of my good buddies over on Facebook. Um, her name's Cadence, so shout out to Cadence. And yeah, I don't know. I don't know what to really say about this band because I know nothing about this band. They're new to me. Um, but to get Ryan Kirby featured on one of their songs, I think that's really cool. And they're an East Coast band, so I think that's pretty dope, you know, being that I'm from the East Coast as well. So, yeah, let's see if they deliver. Let's see what they got. Alrighty. Here we go. Alright. Get this bad boy full screen. All right, so whoop. gotta have my coffee here in case I get thirsty. <laughs> so here's Hidden Figures of Borderline featuring Ryan Kirby of Fifth for King. In three, two, one, Lego. This is Ryan Kirby or not? I think it is. Producing chorus, producing chorus. Cover. Ryan Kirby? I can't even tell anymore.
Alrighty, alrighty, here we have, um, that was Hidden Figures, Borderline, featuring Ryan Kirby of Fit for a King. I thought that was, uh, I thought that was a pretty good song. I gotta admit, at first I kind of felt that the chorus was a little bit, um, underwhelming a bit, um, not to take any way, anything from this band and the song, you know. It's just my initial thoughts upon the first listen. Um, you know. And I do think it's really hard to stand out as a metalcore band. Just in this day and age, you know. To be the next, like... You know, not a lot of these bands can be the next, you know spirit box or make them suffer or you know I'm trying to think of other bands that are metalcore bands that are really popping up right now like if i were you you know those kind of bands you know it's really difficult so i have a lot of um respect for these bands that go through the motions put in their work and do their do their due diligence, you know. Um, yeah, but I felt like the guitar work was pretty, um, pretty standard for like metalcore in terms of what was going on during the song. Um, there was one part in the clean section that I really liked. If I can go back to it, perhaps I don't know if I could find it again. Um, let's see. Let me see if I can find it again. Because I thought it was really cool. Uh, it was... Yeah, this part was pretty cool. The... Yeah, I like that part a lot. But, yeah, I mean, um, it's just one song, so it's a small sample size from a band, you know. I find it very hard to find bands that I'm, like, in love with every song that they put out. Um, I guess I'm a bit picky, you know, <laughs> even though I love my metalcore. But, you know, Ryan Kirby always delivers whenever he's... If he, she's featured on a song, um, uh, wish she would have pulled out some of his, like, long, like, what's it called? Like, uh, long screams or whatever, or it's like long lows, how he can carry out that note for, like, a long time. That would, that would have been pretty dope. I forget what song that was that he, that he, uh... It was by Fit for a King, but it was really dope when he carried out this, like, long, um, low guttural sound. But, anyway, back to the topic. So, yeah, Hidden Figures, you know. If I were to give a song, like, a grade, I would probably give it, like, I'd probably give it a... 7.75 out of 10 something like that you know I thought it was good but I felt like I don't know would I go back and listen to it again I I don't know I probably have to give it a couple more listens just to see if I you know change my kind of thought process on like what I think about the song but yeah that's kind of my um analysis of the song you know um it's a shame that they only have 109 subscribers you know you know definitely subscribe to this band if you like some metal core um i'm not sure produced by ricky armelino armanello armelino <laughs> i'm not sure who that is exactly I don't know many producers, you know, so. 
But the mix was really, if there was a plus, was that the mix was pretty, it's pretty damn spot on. The song just didn't hit for me exactly, but you know, if the band has any other, if the band watches this video and they have any other songs that they think I might like or they want me to check out, I'll be happy to check it out again. Happy to give it a second, third, fourth try, you know. Uh, so yeah, those are my thoughts on Borderline. And I'm borderline hot right now because it's like 94 degrees outside right now. So that's all I got for today, guys. Hope everyone's doing well. And yeah, take it easy. Peace. Yeah.